Alright guys, so um had a little bit of an issue. I think my hard drive is bad. It's the three terabyte Seagate Barracuda. I am pretty sure it's bad. I'm just getting tons of drive errors. It's shitty. I'm kinda of pissed about it. But it's alright. Um I also took the time to go in and clean up my, my my rig a little bit. This thing was just I did not uh do the cable management very well the first time and I, I must say I'm disappointed in my cable management it was complete shit so I went ahead and redid it so uh, this is the revised and I did make room because I'm gonna add a I'm gonna have to RMA that one hopefully new egg won't have hopefully I won't have any issues at new egg um, basically I'm gonna put it right here in the 3.5 or the five uh, the five and a quarter bay I'm going to put it right in there, and I have plenty of room to route the cabling and whatnot. Um, again, this is this is it, though. I mean, it's a lot better, you guys can see. I don't have much light, unfortunately. It's about uh, past midnight here. But, yeah, I, uh, I, I got to cut that one. But yeah, I, there's a ton of, there's just tons of empty space, like right in here. But yeah, I just thought you guys might want to see that, and uh, yeah, tons and tons. I'm, I'm really happy with the way it, it, it looks now. So hopefully the, the issue wasn't my, um, <laughs> my Seagate SSD. <laughs> I just saw the irony in that now. I have, I have a Seagate Barracuda that went bad, and I have a secret SSD. Fuck. <laughs> well, hopefully it it doesn't go bad. Um, and that I, oh, I'm gonna have to reinstall everything from scratch though. I'm gonna do a clean build. I'm just I'm just so pissed. You know, this thing took me hours upon hours to load up all the drivers, and the one good thing that came out of this was. Actually, there's a couple of good things that came out of it. One was the cable management. Looks a lot better now. And two, I have the most current BIOS. <laughs> so I don't have to update the BIOS. And not like it's hard anyways with USB BIOS flashback that Asus has. Um, makes it pretty easy. Other than that, uh, I'm going to get this show on the road. And if you like this video, please subscribe.